Now that we've specified our parameters for our slope analysis, we're going to go ahead and go into our surface display settings and turn on that analysis so that it actually shows up inside of our drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my EG. I'm going to right click and choose surface properties. Inside of surface properties, I'm going to navigate over to my information tab and I'm going to go to my surface style. I can edit the existing surface style if I want to uh, and turn on my slope analysis or I can create a new surface setting or new surface style and I can change it to call it slope analysis. And I can go over to my display and I can make sure I have my border turned on and then I can turn on my slopes and I can hit apply and hit OK and then hit apply and hit OK. And what you'll see here is that my slope analysis has been performed. However, when I did this slope analysis, I set my range for my lower end too wide. Most of my slopes, as you could have seen from our, my last analysis, when we applied the parameters, had everything in the range between zero and like 6%. Um, so what you see here is that a majority of them fall in between the zero and 10%. And that's defined under our surface properties under our analysis tab. If we go to slopes, you'll see I have it zero to 10, 10 to 50. And so most of the colors in here are in my zero to 10 range and I have a few in the 10 to 50. So if I went to five and I hit my down arrow again, it would redistribute this information and it would change these ranges so that I get a better gradation of analyses inside of my specific surface. So it's tailoring these numbers specifically to that surface. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to apply this now and you can see how if you did an incorrect range for your analysis, then you can go ahead and apply it back and have a better range. But this may not be a problem for you if you for some reason needed to have showing areas that were less than 10% uh, and you, you didn't want to have a large gradation of ranges, uh, then maybe you want to leave it as this. But I'm just going to apply this so that you can see how it changes based on changing the range values.